Cytokinins as the name indicates are plant hormones primarily required for cytokinesis or cell division. Biologists were experimenting with the possibility of growing plant cells, tissues and organs in culture by supplying them with a nutrient media in the same way microorganisms are grown. They found that plant cells and tissues proliferate in the basal nutrient media only when they are supplemented with substances like autoclaved herring sperm DNA or coconut milk. Subsequently, a chemical was isolated from autoclaved DNA which could promote cell division when added to a medium. This chemical was named kinetin. Kinetin, chemically 6 furfuryl amino purine, was a byproduct of the heat induced degradation of DNA and was not a naturally occurring compound. Search for a naturally occurring chemical with a structure similar to kinetin led to the discovery of zeatin and we now have several natural and synthetic compounds grouped under cytokinins. Cytokinins have several physiological effects besides promoting cell division. These include expansion growth of cotyledons and leaves, delay of senescence or aging in leaves and promotion of chlorophyll synthesis. In tissue culture, cytokinins promote differentiation of shoots and in intact plants, they promote growth of lateral buds. Let us see in detail about the discovery, chemical nature and physiological effects of cytokinins. Cytokinins were discovered through experiments aimed to initiate and sustain the growth of plant tissues in culture. Heberland in 1913 was the first scientist to demonstrate that potato parenchyma cells can be stimulated to divide in the presence of phloem sap. This indicated that some soluble substance present in the phloem sap was responsible for stimulating cell division. Similarly, Overbeek in 1940 demonstrated that coconut milk can stimulate cell division in plant tissues grown in culture. Folk Sug and his colleagues at the University of Wisconsin used coconut milk or autoclaved herring sperm DNA in the culture media and obtained proliferation of cultured tobacco pit tissue explants. Later, Miller working in the same laboratory isolated a chemical from the autoclaved DNA which could promote cell division when added to the media. This chemical was named kinetin and was shown to be a derivative of adenine or aminopurine, one of the bases of DNA. This derivative kinetin or 6 furfuryl aminopurine was a byproduct of heat induced degradation of DNA in which the deoxyribose sugar of adenosine was converted to a furfuryl ring and shifted from ninth position to sixth position on the adenine ring. Thus, kinetin is not a naturally occurring growth regulator. These discoveries led to a search for natural chemicals with structures similar to kinetin. The first natural cytokinin was isolated 
from the extracts of immature endosperm of corn by Lethem in 1973. This chemical identified as trans 64 hydroxy 3 methyl butanyl aminopurine was named zeatin after the botanical name of corn Z mace. The same compound zeatin was also isolated from coconut milk by Lethem in 1974. Most of the cytokinins, whether natural or synthetic, have aminopurine ring structure and are derivatives of adenine. All the cytokinins induce four biological responses which are similar to transzeatin, the natural cytokinin. These responses are induction of cell division in callous cells in the presence of auxin, promotion of shoot bud or root formation from callous cultures when in appropriate ratios to auxin, delay of senescence and promotion of expansion of dicot cotyledons. Trans and cis zeatin, dihydro zeatin and isopentanyl adenine are natural cytokinins. All these compounds are derivatives of adenine or aminopurine. They have different side chains attached to the 6 nitrogen of the aminopurine. The synthetic cytokinins 6 furfuryl aminopurine and 6 benzyl aminopurine also have aminopurine ring structure with furfuryl or benzene ring attached to the 6 nitrogen of the aminopurine. Diphenylurea which has cytokinin like activity is an exception and is not a derivative of aminopurine. Some molecules like 3 methyl 7 3 methyl butyl amino pyrazole 4 3 D pyrimidine act as cytokinin antagonists. These molecules block the action of cytokinins and their effects may be overcome by the addition of more cytokinins. Cytokinins are synthesized primarily in the meristematic region of the roots. Roots from many plants can be cultured without adding cytokinins in the media, but stem tissues cannot be cultured without the addition of cytokinin. Cytokinins are universal in angiosperms and are also present in algae, diatoms, mosses, ferns and conifers. Cytokinins are synthesized in seeds, fruits, leaves and root tips. Wounding of plant tissues induces cell division at the wound site. When the soil bacterium Agrobacterium tumefaciens invades a wound, it can cause a tumor forming disease known as crown gall. Without the infection, the wound induced cell division subsides after a few days, but with infection, the cells continue to divide to produce an unorganized mass of tumor like tissue called a gall. This crown gall tissue contains both auxin and cytokinins in excess amounts. Another bacterium, Corinbacterium faciens, causes abnormal growth of fur plants known as witch's broom. In infected plants, the lateral buds which normally remain dormant are 
stimulated to grow by the cytokinins secreted by the bacterium. Since this abnormal growth resembles a straw broom, the disease is called witch's broom. Certain insects secrete cytokinins which have a role in the formation of galls utilized by these insects as feeding sites. Similarly, root knot nematodes also produce cytokinins which induce giant host cells by expansion growth from which the nematodes feed. First major precursor to the cytokinin is adenosine monophosphate. Side chains of the cytokinins are made by the terpene pathway that is isopentanyl pyrophosphate or isoprene and added to the AMP by the enzyme cytokinin synthase. IP adenosine 5 phosphate is then converted to IP adenosine by the removal of phosphate and ribose. IP adenosine is then oxidized to zeatine. Cytokinins are degraded by the enzyme cytokinin oxidase which removes the 5 carbon side chain making adenine free. Certain transfer RNA nucleotides are modified to cytokinins after the tRNA is transcribed that is by post transcriptional processing. These bases modified as cis zeatine or 6 IP adenosine acts as cytokinins when transfer RNA is hydrolyzed. Infection by the bacterium Agrobacterium tumefaciens causes the proliferation of host cells to develop into a tumor. Tissues from this crown gall tumor proliferate without the addition of any hormone when they are cultured in a medium. This is because the crown gall tissues contain substantial amounts of both auxin and free cytokinins. Thus, infection by the bacterium makes the plant cells synthesize more of auxin and cytokinins. How does it happen? Agrobacterium tumefaciens contains a plasmid known as TI plasmid. Plasmids are circular pieces of extra chromosomal DNA. Plasmids are not essential for the life of the bacterium, but they frequently contain genes which enhance the ability of the bacterium to survive. In crown gall tissue, a small portion of the plasmid DNA known as tDNA is incorporated into the nuclear DNA of the host plant cell after infection. tDNA carries the genes necessary for the biosynthesis of transzeatin, auxin and a class of nitrogen containing compounds called opines. The gene required for biosynthesis is IPT gene and it goes for isopentanyl transferase enzyme. This enzyme transfers isopentanyl group to AMP that is adenosine monophosphate to form isopentanyl adenine ribotide. This compound can be converted to active cytokinins like isopentanyl adenine, transzeatin and dihydrozeatin by the enzymes present in the plant cell. Similarly, tDNA contains two genes that can code for enzymes which convert 
tryptophan to the auxin indole 3 acetic acid this pathway for the synthesis of auxin differs from the synthesis in the uninfected cells because it involves indole acetamide as an intermediate the location of the IPT gene that promotes the synthesis of cytokinins is known as TMR locus. If this gene is inactivated by any mutation, then it results in the formation of a rooty tumor. This tumor produces lot of roots because they do not synthesize cytokinins but synthesize excess of auxins and auxins promote formation of roots. The location of genes that regulate synthesis of auxin is known as TMS locus. Any mutation in this locus inhibits auxin production and results in the formation of shooty tumors. Here, concentration of cytokinins become higher because auxin is not synthesized and cytokinins promote formation of shoots. The tumor can form a mass of proliferating roots or shoots depending on the site or locus of the mutation. When both the loci are active, then the concentration of both the hormones are high and roots or shoots do not differentiate from the tumor because the ratio of the concentrations of the two hormones is same and is not in favor of any one of them. The third type of the gene in the plasmid induces the formation of the unusual nitrogen containing compound called opines. These compounds serve as nitrogen sources for the growing bacteria and they cannot be utilized by the plant cells. All these genes in the tDNA of the plasmid are not expressed in the bacterium because their promoters are plant eukaryotic promoters and are present only in the host cells. These genes are expressed only when they are inserted into the plant genome. Since these genes can induce tumors in plants, they are referred to as phyto-oncogenes. The discovery of tumor inducing TI plasmid in agrobacterium tumefaciens provided a tool to introduce cytokinin producing genes to plants to study the role of cytokinins in plant development. Agrobacterium is also extensively used for introducing foreign genes to plants to produce transgenic plants. The primary role of cytokinins is regulation of cell division. As we have seen earlier, cytokinins were discovered by screening the compounds which can stimulate cell division and proliferation in vitro. Both auxin and cytokinins are required for the promotion of cell division. In eukaryotes, the cell cycle is regulated by the enzymes cyclin dependent protein kinases or CDKs. Auxin regulates a gene CDC2 or cell division cycle 2 which codes for a major CDK. But this CDK induced by auxin is inactive because of the presence of an inhibitory phosphate group. Cytokinins activate 
a phosphatase enzyme which removes the inhibitory phosphate group from CDC2 kinase induced by auxin and activates the enzyme. Besides this, cytokinins also elevate the expression of CYCDS gene which encodes a D-type cyclin. The D-type cyclins are key players in the regulation of cell proliferation. In this manner, cytokinins promote both cell division and proliferation by activation of specific genes required for cell cycle. In plant tissue culture, once the callus is initiated, further differentiation of the callus tissue depends on the ratio of auxin to cytokinin in the culture medium. High auxin and low cytokinin ratios stimulate the formation of roots. Low auxin and high cytokinin ratio lead to the formation of shoots. At intermediate ratios, the tissue continues to grow as an undifferentiated callus. In the morphogenesis of shoots, cytokinins play a major role. Plants exhibit apical dominance, that is, the suppression of growth of lateral buds and branches in an intact plant with an active apical meristem. The apical dominance is presumably determined by auxin produced in the apex and decapitation or removal of apex from the stem allows growth of the lateral buds. Cytokinins also have a role in apical dominance because direct applications of cytokinins to the axillary buds of many species stimulate cell division activity and the growth of the buds. Leaf senescence is a programmed aging process in which the leaves slowly lose chlorophyll, RNA, lipids and proteins. Application of cytokinins either a cytokinin treated leaf will remain green even if other leaves of the same age start yellowing and eventually drop off. When a leaf is treated with cytokinins, nutrients from other parts of the plant move to this leaf. This phenomenon is known as cytokinin induced nutrient mobilization. Cytokinins create a source-sink relationship. Source is where the nutrients are produced or stored and the sink is where they are utilized. Normally, the younger leaves are rich in cytokinin and act as sink, removing nutrients from the old senescing leaves. But Application of cytokinin to an older leaf reverses the process and nutrients are removed from the younger leaves. Because of this reverse transport, younger leaves may senesce early. Cytokinins promote chlorophyll synthesis and also grana formation in the chloroplasts. When the seedlings are grown in darkness, they show etiolation growth with elongated hypercardyls and unexpanded cotyledons without chloroplasts. The proplastids of dark grown seedlings develop into etioplasts which do not synthesize chloroplasts, whereas the proplastids develop into chloroplasts directly when the seedlings are grown in light. 
Etioplasts also mature into chloroplasts when etiolated seedlings are eliminated. Pre-treatment of etiolated seedlings with cytokinins before elimination results in excessive grana structure in the chloroplasts and excess of chlorophyll and photosynthetic enzymes. Plant organs like root and stem grow by elongation but cotyledons and leaves grow by expansion. Cytogynins promote expansion growth of cotyledons of dicot seedlings both in the dark and in the light. Expansion growth is radial that is growth in all directions unlike elongation and this type of growth is not induced by other hormones like auxin and gibberellins. Beta cyanins are a type of red violet pigments synthesized by some plants like beetroot, bougainvillea, celosia, amaranthus, etc. They are functionally similar to anthocyanins in being responsible for the color of the flowers but chemically differ from anthocyanins in having nitrogen in their structure. Some of the dicot seedlings besides synthesizing chlorophyll also synthesize beta cyanin or anthocyanin in their hypercotyl and cotyledons when they are grown in light. But treatment of dark grown seedlings with cytokinins can induce synthesis of beta cyanin particularly in the cotyledons in plants like celosia and amaranthus. Growing seedlings in the dark in presence of cytokinins produces morphological effects that are similar to seedlings grown under light. The similarities are in the expansion of cotyledons, shortening of the hypercotyl and synthesis of beta cyanins. However, the cytokinin treated seedlings do not synthesize chlorophyll in the dark unlike the light grown seedlings where cotyledons become green. Application of cytokinins in light has additive effects on all these parameters. In conclusion, cytokinins discovered through experiments in tissue culture for stimulation of cell division in plant cells are an important class of plant hormones. They have several biological roles in the development of plants like cell division, expansion growth of cotyledons and leaves, synthesis of chlorophyll, differentiation of shoots and delay of senescence.